So, since so many people requested this, this is how you break up a file so you can make a large mural. So, I used Copilot to create this picture. Now, I want to convert it to a SVG file, otherwise, you will get this pixelation when you zoom in too far. I like to use Inkscape as it's a free to use program. Uh, but whatever method you like to use to make your SVG files is fine long as you get it to an SVG. Now open XCS and import your image. Size it according to the size you would like it to be. Keep in mind the larger you go the more your computer is going to lag. XCS does not seem to be as optimized as a lot of other programs out there. To get it to the final dimensions that you want to use, um, now you draw a rectangle. Size it to the size that your final product is going to be and then just overlay it over your picture. I like to make it a different color so that it's easier to select in the next step. Select everything and then click United Overlap and this will cut off the sides and you'll have a final product the size that you want it to be. Always remember to save periodically. You don't want to do all this work and have to do it all over again. Now draw a rectangle and size it to the size that you want each individual tile to be. I like to change the color so that it's easier to select in the next step. Select this block and create a grid array. Make sure that you set the spacing to zero. Overlay this grid now over the image. Select the red layer and click on on group. This will enable you to select one block at a time. Now copy this block, and then open a new project. Then you just paste it into your new project. This will be your cut line or the outline of your tiles. Now I'll go back to your main image, select the black layer. And then while holding on shift, you select only the first block on the red layer. Click United Overlap. Don't worry if it deletes a lot of stuff, we'll get it back. Copy this, move it over to your new document, paste it back in there and line it up with the red square. And now you just have to switch the orientation so that it fits into your S1. All that's left to do now is to set your settings for the engraving and the cutting separately. and create a second canvas. You will be creating canvases, up to 10 of them can be done in one project. So we copy this block again, paste it into the new canvas, and now Control Z will undo that cut. You do exactly the same, select the black layer, hold down Shift, select the second block, and click United Overlap. And this will give you your second tile. Line everything up. Get the orientation right. And also click group to keep it together. And then just align to center. And do another one. Just set your settings. Now this you'll keep on doing for each and every tile. Control Z will undo that or you can first copy that block again. Control Z. Select the black, select the third red block. United overlap. Copy, 
go to your next canvas and paste do the same thing over and over this is a bit tedious i'll i'll admit but mm, it makes such a nice picture when it's done so it's worth taking the time and that's it as simple as that now you can do cheese any size you like i mean your imagination is going to be the only limit so go for it make some if you do make this in your post to facebook please make sure to tag me as well i would love to see what you guys actually come up with all right that's everything i've got for today guys cheers